AMD GPUs are regarded as being the best option for Linux. When looking at previous generations of AMD GPUs, like the 7000 series for example, those deliver the same performance in Linux as in Windows in pure raster scenarios. Now, is the 9000 series from AMD in Linux on par with Windows when gaming? Stick around if you want to find out. Meta 25.2 was recently released and promises better RT performance. In this video I'm gonna have a look if the 9000 series in Linux manages to reach parity with Windows in raster scenarios and if Linux has closed the gap when using ray tracing. For this comparison I'm using the PowerColor Red Devil 9070 XT. I use Cache OS with all the updates applied. On the screen now you have the kernel and the Mesa display driver versions. I made sure to configure the distribution as it is documented in the Cache OS page for gaming. No other changes were made. When it comes to Windows, I used the latest drivers for the GPU. One thing to keep note of is I enabled FSR4 and Adrenaline, so games that are whitelisted will default to FSR4. Games were tested at 1440p and 4K, raster and retracing. In the side-by-side -side runs, I will show the graphic setting used only at 1440p. If there are differences between 1440p and 4K, I will show the 4K settings as well. After the side-by-side -side runs, I will add all data in charge so that you get a clear picture. Now, let's start with raster games. In Cyberpunk 2077, using these settings at 1440p, both operating systems deliver the same average performance but Cache OS manages around 20% better 1% low values. Increasing the resolution to 4K, we can see the same behavior. Equal averages better 1% low values on Cache OS. Let's move now to Monster Hunter Wilds. This game is FSR4 whitelisted. This means that in Windows it is using FSR4. At 1440p, Cache OS delivers yet again better 1% low values but the averages are more or less the same as in Windows. When I bump the resolution to 4K, things change. Windows 11 takes the lead in averages, delivering around 12% more performance, while the 1% low values are close to what Cache OS manages. Stellar Blade is another game that is whitelisted in Windows to use FSR4. At 1440p, Cache OS delivers around 10% more performance when looking at the averages and the 1% low values. When I increase the resolution to 4K, the advantage that Cache OS had has dissolved with Windows taking the lead, but you could call it a tie as the difference is too small to be noticeable. Let's move to Claire Obscure. I used XCSS in this game as it doesn't come with FSR. At 1440p, we can see that Windows has a minor advantage in performance, both in averages and 1% low values. Increasing the resolution to 4K doesn't change anything. Windows 11 still has a small performance advantage. Spider-Man 2 is another game that comes with FSR 4 support in Windows and at 1440p, Cache OS has a small advantage in averages and 1% low values when compared to Windows 11. When I increase the resolution to 4K, the gap has increased in favor of Cache OS as it delivers around 15% better averages and 33% better 1% low values. Counter Strike 2 runs native in Linux and here we can see that Windows has the edge in averages but loses when we take into consideration the 1% low values. The last game that I'm gonna mention in this side-by-side -side raster runs is Witcher 3. At 1440p Windows 11 has a clear advantage in both averages and 1% low values. When I increase the resolution to 4K, the gap has widened with Windows 11 delivering better 1% low values than the average frame rate that Cache OS managed to achieve. And this is the chart with all the other games tested at 1440p. For me, the alter seems to not work at all at 1440p, but I have no issues at 4K. As we can see here, Cache OS managed to deliver clear win, and that is Spider-Man 2 and Stellar Blade. On the other hand, Windows managed three clear victories, 
Counter Strike 2, The Last of Us Part 2 and Witcher 3. As we can see from this 1440p chart, Windows fares better for gaming, as the 1% low values averaged across all games, excluding the altars, are around 6% more when compared to cache OS. The performance gap shrinks when looking at the average frame rate across all game tested, again excluding the altars, standing at below 5%. Moving to 4K, we can see in this chart that Cache OS delivers one clear win in Spider-Man 2, while Windows has four, Monster Hunter Wilds, Claire Obscure, The Alters and Witcher 3. When we take into consideration the 1% low value graph, Windows has the edge, but the gap is really small. The same small gap can be observed when looking at this chart, as it shows the averages obtained across all games tested. Now let's move to ray tracing games. Let's start with Cyberpunk 2077. I enabled path tracing for this game with upscaling. At 1440p, Windows has a clear advantage amounting to around 23% more performance when looking at the averages. At 4K, it seems that the performance gap stays the same, with Windows delivering better performance overall. Doom The Dark Ages is the other game where I use path tracing, and at 1440p Windows has a big advantage, standing at 50% better performance. Even the 1% low values of Windows are way above the averages that Cache OS achieved. Now let's move to 4K. I suspect that because of the 4K resolution paired with path tracing, when using these settings, Cache OS is not able to deliver more performance than a slideshow. I suspect that this is happening due to low VRAM and Windows 11 manages the memory better or has lower VRAM usage. Keep in mind that Linux is using a translation layer. Either way, using the same settings, Windows manages to deliver 18.5 FPS on average while Cache OS 0. I tested an older game as I wanted to see if the performance would be more or less the same, but in Metro Exodus, at 1440p, using ray tracing, Windows delivers 28% more performance than Cache OS. The same performance gap can be seen at 4K, though Windows has increased a bit its lead to 30%. Silent Hill 2 is an Unreal Engine 5 game and it seems that Windows performs way better than Cache OS, as at 1440p it has a 78% performance advantage. Even the 1% low values of Windows are much better than Cache OS's averages. When moving to 4K, it seems that Cache OS is losing steam as the performance gap has increased to around 87%. The last ray tracing game that I tested is Witcher 3 and it seems that there is no win for Linux, as at 1440p, Cache OS delivers averages below the 1% low values that Windows 11 can master. The dynamics don't change at all at 4K, we can see more or less the same performance gap between these two operating systems. And this is the 1440p chart for the ray tracing games. I didn't test that many as I think the few games checked can deliver a conclusion. Linux is still losing a lot of performance in ray tracing scenarios. In this chart you can see the averages obtained by both operating systems, and Windows 11 enjoys a 37% performance lead. Moving on to 4K, we can see that Windows 11 is much better in ray tracing scenarios yet again. Doom the Dark Ages was a slideshow on Linux, while on Windows it wasn't playable, but it still managed 18.5 frames per second on average. I removed Doom the Dark Ages from the averages, but still Windows has a 36% performance advantage over Cache OS. To be honest, with Mesa 25.2, I was expecting parity in raster games and a bit better performance than what I got in ray tracing games. It seems that RDNA 4 still needs some driver optimization to catch Windows for gaming, while other generations achieved parity long ago, at least in pure raster scenarios. So, for those of you considering a switch to Linux on newer AMD hardware, know that you lose a bit of performance in raster scenarios and way more when ray tracing is enabled. I wanted to add Tumbleweed as well, but when I checked it, the Mesa version was still 25.1 while Cache OS moved to Mesa 25.2. I will check in a future video to see if there is performance variation between distros, so stay tuned. And that's it for this video. 
if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and drop a comment below to help with the algorithm. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.